Tell us about Raponins, Professor. What makes them so special? Well, they are specific for cardiac muscle. They are not found anywhere else. So does a raised troponin mean you have heart problems? No. It only means that the heart released troponin. It does that all the time as the myocyte machinery is turned over. So a normal heart can release troponin? Yes, in the same way that skeletal muscle releases creatine kinase. Plasma CK can be high after vigorous activity, such as jogging or chopping wood. What sort of increased cardiac work will lead to a raised troponin? Well, sustained tachycardia. For one. Also, increased cardiac work such as systemic infection. Imagine if you have an old car and let your big brother rev it hard. You'll find the engine drips oil for a few days. Even a new engine may do this. So how do I use troponin measurement in a sensible way? Only use it in patients with undiagnosed chest pain. A normal troponin may be a pointer against unstable angina as the cause. Also, a normal troponin means lower risk because there isn't significant myocardial injury. So, in a known coronary patient, you're not really interested in the troponin level? Usually not. The troponin assay is very sensitive and even minor events will manifest a raised level. There are far more important indicators of trouble, like history of previous Q-wave infarction, or left ventricular failure. What about patients who don't have chest pain? Don't measure it unless you think painless ischemia is likely. Work out what is wrong with the patient and don't let the troponin distract you. So just to be clear, when you say troponin is specific for cardiac muscle, does that mean the test has high specificity? No, same word, different meaning. The troponin assay is sensitive and can be used to rule out myocardial necrosis, but at the expense of false positives. When a test is very sensitive it usually doesn't have high specificity. This means many people with a raised troponin may not have unstable angina. How do I tell? Always go back to the pretest probability if you want to interpret a test result. You mean I have to take a history? Dang.